Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. With the rollout and release of Windows 11 version 22H2, as many of you will know, we get the new Clipchamp video editor, which is now the default and inbox video editor for Windows 11 22H2, which also replaces the legacy video editor, which was once part and parcel of the Photos app. Now, what Clipchamp also does when it's installed on your system, in case you're unaware, if we just head to the File Explorer, and I right-click on any random video file. Here we get an entry that's also added to the right-click context menu in the File Explorer called Edit with Clipchamp. So in this video, we are going to have a look at two ways, two options, that we can use to remove this Edit with Clipchamp from the File Explorer's context menu, just in case you don't need this to be shown and displayed in that right-click context menu. Now the first, it goes without saying, the simplest would be if you are not using Clipchamp as your video editor or don't require the app on your system, just head over to the settings menu in case you're unaware, click on apps, installed apps, and you can uninstall the app from your system completely. And yeah, you get Clipchamp, click on the three dotted menu, click on uninstall, and that will remove the app from your device. And obviously, we'll also remove then that edit with Clipchamp from the context menu as mentioned. Now, the next option, and option two and um, would be say as an example you are using clipchamp as your video editor but don't want to see or require edit with clipchamp in the right click context menu then we can remove edit with clipchamp using the registry editor but keep the app on your device and on your system to use so to do this and to remove edit with clipchamp from the file explorer's context menu we need to head over to the registry and the simplest would be i would just suggest right click on your start menu click on run enter reg edit click on ok and this will open the registry editor. Now, as I always do suggest before we fiddle in the registry, just head over quickly to file, export your registry, and if anything does go wrong while you are fiddling around, you can always come back at a later stage and import that as a backup and a safety net, so to speak. Now, um, to remove Edit with Clipchamp from the context menu in File Explorer, we at first need to navigate to H key Local Machine. Click on that and expand that. Then we need to click on and expand Software. Then we do the same with Microsoft, and under Microsoft, we head down until we see Windows. That's located near the bottom under W. Here we go. Click on and expand Windows, and then you click on and open up current version. Now, under current version, we need to look for the key called Shell Extensions, which will be located under the S's. Here we go, Shell Extensions, and we click on that and open up and expand Shell Extensions. Now, um, what you should see under shell extensions are approved, cached, and blocked. Now, I'm not seeing the blocked key under shell extensions, which is quite common. So if you are not seeing blocked under shell extensions once you have expanded that, then we need to actually add that key to the shell extensions. So to do this, we right-click on shell extensions, and then we have to create a new registry key. And I'm just going to paste blocked in there we go blocked and that's created a new key now and what we have to do now with blocked is we actually have to create a new string value and we have to rename that string value and that string value we're going to rename blocked to is actually the clipchamps app the gurd for clipchamp now um to do this um first of all i am going to head to my notepad because the new string is quite a mouthful so i'm just going to copy and paste that in and I will leave this string value in the description for easy reference if you'd like to um, try this registry um, tweak out to remove that um, entry from your context menu. So once we've done that, um, I'm just going to right click on blocked. Now we have to create a new string. So string value and we have to paste that in and there we go. So we've renamed that and with that new string value, which as mentioned is the string, the string is the clipchamp GURD. And then once you've done that, um, you will have to then close your registry and then you will have to um, restart your system. And obviously I'm not going to do that because I don't want to remove uh, Clipchamp or the entry from my context menu. And it will also just take too long for the purpose of this video. And once, um, as an example, once you've closed the registry, restart your system. And then once you've restarted your device, when you come back, that entry then should be removed. Edit with Clipchamp from the context menu, but the app will actually remain on your system as mentioned. And for whatever reason, say um, at a later stage, um, you do want to see the context menu entry back again, um, or you have uninstalled Clipchamp, what you can always do is just head over to the Microsoft Store and then you can download and reinstall Clipchamp from the Microsoft Store where it is available for download. So that's just a quick and simple way 
um, to remove the Edit with Clipjam from the File Explorer's context menu in Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.